So as you know, we don't have access to the radio studio because of COVID. So there's two ways that we're going to do shows on uh, the FM. Right now, we've been playing kind of through an automated, um, through Megaseg right now. We want to get DJs back on the air. So what we're, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to pre-record a show, and then we'll do another video on how to go live uh, from the studio. So here's what you need um, in order to uh, record a show. You're going to need a computer, um, and you're going to need Audacity. We can use GarageBand, Pro Tools, whatever you've got, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to show you how to do it with Audacity because it's free, and it works on Mac and PC. And if you have a good microphone, um, I'm using my laptop mic right now, so it's not the best thing in the world. But if you do have a gaming headset or a desk mic or anything like that, it'll sound better. Um, you can also record on any other device. And if you get the audio files in, instead of doing the recording through Audacity, you can bring the MP3 files or the WAV files in as well. So there's a few different options. You can record with your phone. You can record with a Bluetooth headset. It's really up to you. I'm just going to walk you through the process of how to get everything into Audacity. And basically, when we're done here today, we'll have a one-hour block that I can send in, and our program director will put that on the radio station and schedule it on where your normal time slot would have been on the radio. So I'm going to use Spotify to get my music. So here's the first track I'm going to play. I'm going to have that all queued up. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to go to Audacity. I'm going to bring this up full screen so you can see it here. A few things we need to check. Um, I want to check that my project bitrate is the same as my tracks, as my inputs. For this purpose, I'm just going to choose the 4800K. So this 4800 over here is a stereo 4800K, 32-bit float. That's perfect. Now, for inputs, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to record my introduction for the radio show. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to choose uh, MME. And I'm going to use my microphone, and we're going to record stereo. So this first track is going to be uh, everything I say. So I have a record button up here. I've got my playhead in place. So I'm going to use Spotify to get my music. So here's the first track I'm going to play. I'm going to have that all queued up. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to go to Audacity. I'm going to bring this up full screen so you can see it here. A few things we need to check. Um, I want to check that my project bitrate is the same as my tracks, as my inputs. For this purpose, I'm just going to choose the 4800K. So this 4800 over here is a stereo 4800K, 32-bit float. That's perfect. Now, for inputs, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to record my introduction for the radio show. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to choose uh, MME, and I'm going to use my microphone. And we're going to record stereo. So this first track is going to be uh, everything I say. So I have a record button up here. I've got my playhead in place. And I'm going to do the intro for my show here. Hello and welcome to the 80s and 90s hour on 90.7 WXIN. We're going to start off tonight's uh, show with a classic from the 1980s film Caddyshack. Kenny Loggins and I'm All Right. So that's one little clip that I just Hello recorded. Welcome to the 80s and 90s hour on 90.7 WXIN. Tonight's so that's a little pregnant pause in there. I can just highlight that little chunk right there. So I just use my mouse click and I hit the uh, delete key. And that goes away. So you can kind of tidy this up. We're going to start off. All right. So we have that little clip down there. Now we want to bring in the song. So what I'm going to do is go to tracks new stereo track that's going to be down here so i'm going to hit uh the first thing i am do is i'm going to go over here and change my settings so i'm going to take this bottom setting here the w a s r a s a p i and i have an option here to choose my speakers now when you do that you might get some feedback so there's a little trick you go to edit preferences and if you go to recording, there's a software playthrough of input. I unchecked that because we're going to be using the output to record. So we create this loop, and it would just make a horrible noise. So we just unchecked that. So what we're going to do is on the track, we've hit select down here. I move my playhead to the end. I want to hit record. 
I'm going to go over to Spotify, hit play. All right, so that's the song there. And I'm going to go ahead and stop Spotify because it's going to run away on me. Good. Okay, it's stopped. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I have all this dead space here, so let's get rid of that. Kenny Loggins, and I'm all right. There you go, it goes right into the song. What we can do, which is kind of neat, and it's tough to do in person unless you're really good at it, is we can talk over the end of the song, kind of segue into our next song. So I'm thinking, yeah, right about there. Now, if I was to do that, it would play back the song as well, and my mic's open, and I don't have headphones on right now, so we don't want that. So I'm going to go a little bit further down the timeline, and we'll slide it back over. Let's figure out what our next song's going to be. Well, let's find another song from Caddyshack. Um, Journey had a song. Um, Any Way You Want It was another song from Caddyshack. So let's put that in there. Ready? And I have to change my input back. Microphone, perfect. When we will, uh, we're going to arm this track, set my playhead, hit record. You're listening to 90.7 WXIN. So I want to stop there, take a breath, and we'll track it from there. Any Way You Want It by Journey. You're listening to 90.7 WXIN. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this back so it's kind of over the other song. Kind of creates this neat effect. That was Kenny Loggins, and I'm all right. Here's another hit from the movie Caddyshack. Any way you want it, by Journey. You're listening to 90.7 WXI. All right, so I have that where it's overlaid. We've armed our track down here. I'm going to change my source again. Make sure that I've got my speakers selected. I'm going to go ahead and drop this into record and we're going to play Spotify. So I'm just going to jip that in there. So let's clean this little bit up here. It comes in pretty hot, so I can't really talk over it too much. So we just tighten that up a little bit. I kept First track's gonna be all my talking, and then the other track here will be all of my uh, music. That was Kenny Loggins, and I'm all right. Here's another hit from the movie Caddyshack, Any Way You Want It, by Journey. You're listening to 90.7 WX. Any way you want it, it's the way you need it, any way you want it. That came in a little bit early. So we're going to grab all of the sound here, and we're going to slide it down. So we just highlighted it, and then we grabbed this time shift tool, and we slid it over. So now it will transition better. There's a slight pause there, so I'm going to find you come over just a little bit there. Let's try again. 3.7 WXI. Any way you want it, it's the way you need it. Check. Any way you want it. And you want to watch your levels. You want to keep it like negative six. Don't go over zero. Okay. Now, going into this, we're going to do a break. So we'll run an ID. We're about seven minutes in. So we're about the point where we want to ID anyway. Um, we didn't. We're assuming that prior to our show, they've already ID'd. So we'll do a quick ID, we'll do two underwrites, and we'll come back. We'll change the theme up a little bit. So what we've done is if you shoot over to um, our Dropbox, and we'll send this link to all the DJs, there's a bunch of material here that you can grab some of the current rotations, and then there's some underlying, some underwriting of liners. So there should be one here.
Let's see if there's a SpongeBob liner. All right, so I want to hit uh, direct download. I'm just going to put this in um, my music folder for now. I'll come back to that. So now I'll come in over here and a couple of options. I think I, I can throw another track down. It won't hurt nothing. They don't charge extra for it. So we'll just throw a stereo track down here. And we're going to grab that bit of music. All right. This was encoded as an M4A, uh, so we can't use it. Um, so I'll have to convert that before we can, can use it. Let me see if any will convert it. The program called Any Video Converter is a free version of it. Uh, it might, might do the job. All right, so one of the things you have to do with any, if you hit this little button right here and you go audio and I pick uh, MP3. So it's an audio only file. I tell it that I want to put it in my music folder. Hit OK, go. Any's a great little program because it, um, I thought that checked first. Okay, there we go. Other than that one little pop up, it doesn't do much to harm your computer. It works great on Windows. And uh, you can download stuff off of YouTube and whatnot with it. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this. It's not in the spot I want. So I'm going to grab my I-beam, select it, grab my move tool, and we're going to inch it up where we want it. So it's going to go I-beam again. It's going to butt up against the end of the song. So let's play this. OK, and then we come back. Actually, we're going to do a couple of underwrites. So same deal. I am going to go up to uh, our Dropbox. Underwriting. Big Tony's, OK. I'm going to download this. And those folders will update over time uh, as new commercials come and go and, and new uh, items. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my computer. Go back. And I can, uh, I'm going to just ping pong between tracks um, two and three for this. Big Tony's commercial. Now, it wants to put it on another track down here. I don't need this SpongeBob track. I'm going to delete that. Grab the little I-beam here, select that clip, move this down the line. I may have to do this in a couple of pushes. And I want it right after that. So it's going to do the music, the SpongeBob ID, and then right into Big Tony's. For the best local pizza, no further, Big Tony's Pizzeria. So then I would go back up here and I would select my mic, do my next intro, and we go down the line until we had the full hour, right? So here's the next step you're going to do. When it's all done, I'm going to go File, Export as MP3. All right. These the presets are pretty good. That, that'll work. So I'm going to call this one uh, 80s, 80s hour. Uh, you can number these, date these, um, something that your program director knows what this is, when it's going to air. So I'm just going to call this one 11.5 because that's when I recorded it. All right. It's not a full hour. It doesn't really matter. It's just for a demonstration here, OK? And then I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, well, I'm going to choose where I'm putting it and hit Save. It's going to get mixed down. I'm going to say that's OK. Um, you can give it some information if you want. It doesn't matter for our application here. Hit OK. Music director is going to go ahead and change things anyways. 
as far as like genre tags and whatnot. All right. So it's going to do its export. It's going to take a minute or two. Now I'm going to show you the next step here into actually getting this thing submitted. So you will have received or are going to receive in an email some information about how to submit shows. And one of the links you're going to get is a, a WXAM pre recorded shows Dropbox link. Okay. This is what pops up. It's going to ask you to add files. So we hit that files from my computer. And I go and I find my show. And hit open. Okay, you can upload multiple if you want. You want to put my name here. I'm just gonna put test there so they don't actually run it. Put your email in. Um, and hit upload. It's gonna do its thing. It might take a minute or two. All right, and that's it. It's been submitted. Um, Music, email your, or message your, your music direct, the music director or um, you know somebody at the station who's going to be responsible for this. We're going to figure out who that is and we'll let you know. Um, just let them know the file's ready. They'll go into um, the log into the machine at the office remotely and add it in, and it will play at the scheduled time. So say your show was scheduled from like four to five, it would schedule to run at that time. As far as audio is concerned, if you want to record a group of your friends in Zoom. Take that audio, bring it into Audacity, trim it up. That might be a way too to get in multiple people and have some banter. Um, as long as you have sound, you get it in there. We we can work with it. Okay. So that's the steps. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us, and we'll we'll try to help you out from there.